In an unexpected turn of events today, the political landscape in the UK has been shaken to its core. During what began as a routine conference, Nigel Farage made a series of shocking accusations that could significantly alter the future of British politics. In a bold and unfiltered address, Farage accused Prime Minister Keir Starmer of placing the interests of immigrants above those of the British people. This accusation isn't just an opinion. It's a claim that Starmer has fostered a network of influence and manipulation that jeopardizes the very foundation of our democracy. But the bombshells didn't stop there. Farage went further, presenting what he described as compelling evidence linking Starmer to dubious business dealings and shady corporate interests. The implications of these allegations are staggering, casting a long shadow over Starmer's leadership and raising serious questions about his integrity and accountability. With the future of the UK now hanging in the balance, experts are warning that this scandal could trigger a major political crisis. We're looking at the potential for widespread protests, resignations, and possibly even the collapse of the government itself. The urgency of the situation cannot be overstated. These developments are not just political theatrics. They are poised to disrupt the stability of the government and the economy. As citizens, it's crucial for us to stay informed and engaged in these unfolding events. We can't afford to be caught off guard, as the implications of what's to come are nothing short of alarming. Transitioning to another pressing issue, Farage addressed the ongoing crisis in the English Channel. He noted how the number of boats crossing has surged, as gangs exploit the situation, knowing that the chances of deportation are slim to none. Farage has been on the front lines, recounting his experiences from early 2020, when he began filming the boats crossing the Channel. He spoke of meeting face-to-face -face with young men described as aggressive, highlighting the gravity of the situation. In a surprising revelation, he clarified the meaning behind the term escorts, explaining that it refers to the French Navy escorting these boats across the Channel and handing them over to Border Force or the RNLI. Farage didn't hold back, asserting that unless serious action is taken, we could face an unprecedented influx of illegal crossings. He controversially mentioned the possibility of an invasion, a term that has drawn significant criticism. Yet, with numbers approaching 140,000 crossings, it's hard to dismiss the severity of the situation. Addressing the ineffective measures previously taken by the government, Farage criticized the Wanda plan as impractical and highlighted the ongoing challenges posed by the European Court of Human Rights, ECHR. He argued that the incorporation of the ECHR into British law has effectively tied the hands of British judges, forcing them to rule in favor of the convention. This is a reality that the government must face head-on. In a broader context, Farage emphasized that we are now confronting a national security emergency. He pointed to ISIS's 2015 boast about using the Mediterranean to infiltrate Europe as a crucial warning that has largely been ignored. It's interesting to note that Keir Starmer himself used the term national security emergency during the general election, suggesting that even he recognizes the gravity of the situation. Yet, Farage insists that immediate action is necessary, calling for the appointment of a new border chief commander to effectively address these challenges. If you found this video informative and engaging, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more updates on UK politics. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.